so they are waiting for a cab and a queue. All of a sudden, one something triggered my son, and he starts throwing tantrum and uh, ring along the floor. So my wife was uh, striking with him, and uh, there's public around. So they, they were looking at my son as something must be wrong with this boy and start passing some remarks, some unpleasant remarks. We, we have parents who, I don't know why, for some reason, basically, you know, encourage the kids to bully uh, or to make fun of, of children with special needs. Like, why are they still wearing diapers and, and they can't talk? Um, and that, that was a very uh, sad and very non-inclusive uh, behaviour that we, we do come across. Uh, with some parents as well. He was um, having some inflammation in the throat kind of thing. So he kept screeching, thinking that by doing so, he can clear his throat and he can actually feel better. So he, con he does it constantly on a bus. So it irritates um, passengers definitely because the screeches are high. They will say that, Oh, you're already so old and you still don't know how to behave yourself. Despite me trying my best to explain to them that he, that he has a special condition that he can't control himself. He didn't do it on purpose. He's very uncomfortable and he doesn't know how to help himself already. So he was actually tearing and, and screeching at the same time. We were being stared at and then you know, like people can't wait for us to, to alight. So in the end, we had to just, before this, we, we, we approach our stop, we had to alight and walk. Once our child was overwhelmed with the noise and, and the crowd in, in a very crowded area uh, and he basically uh, sat down and covered his ears and we do have a very nice lady passerby who, who offered him a lot of chocolate. You know, people don't know how but they try so we appreciate that. So he ran towards the balloons without asking permission from the parents. So after that, he tend to lose his way. He couldn't find us. So he, he was in a state of panic. So came this good Samaritan. He began to hug the boy, that's my son, assure him that uh, everything is okay. So that uh, calms him down a lot.